You know, as a nation, we faced one of the most difficult moments in our history, in my view. Four historic crises all at the same time. He fails the most basic duty to a nation. He fails to protect us from the pandemic, from an economic freefall, from racial unrest, from the ravages of climate change. It's clear that we're not safe in Donald Trump's America. The one year anniversary. How are you doing with that? Well, I cried all last night about Dan and this morning. Mom, I just, I can't cry anymore. You know, Dan wouldn't want you to be crying now. He didn't deserve that virus. He sure didn't deserve to die. You didn't deserve even to lose your job. None of us deserved a president who said, it is what it is. Oh, no, I can't believe he would even say that. Don't you think it was about time to get a decent man back in Washington? Absolutely. <laughs> and good old Joe Biden kept his promise. <laughs> National Climate Bank is the one that loaned the money to my company that hired me. I have this job thanks to Joe. Oh, and how's that going? Actually, it's amazing so far. Turns out solar installs sell themselves here in Arizona. Solar's so cheap these days. Plus, I get paid a lot more than I did at the job I lost last year. I'm, I'm just so grateful that we're finally back on track again. Americans face this historic inflection point. A time of real peril, but also a time of extraordinary possibilities. I'm confident, I know we can do this. We will do this. This is the United States of America. We've seen the light through the dark smoke. We never give up. Always, without exception, every time we succeed when we try.